is just after Christmas, so it's been a nice, I don't think we can call it a long weekend since it's been since Thursday. And today is Monday. <laughs> happy, happy long week, I guess. Luckily, there's been plenty of time for crafting. And I finished my ornaments in time. Very exciting, I know. I did have a goal to have them all 12 completed for Christmas Eve. Would have been right on my timeline. That didn't happen. Um, I had a lot of fun, but that didn't happen. <laughs> so I was then re-devised of, oh, I'll finish them all for Christmas Day. And I was so close. I was so close. But I left... I lost one of the arms for my Lord of Leaping somewhere in between my kitchen sink to soak them so the 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 stuff comes away, the supporting interface, interfacing, there's the word. So somewhere between my kitchen sink and my living room, which is not very far, I lost one of the arms and it was getting late and I was tired. I was like, screw it, I will take care of it in the morning. So I actually finished them on the day after Christmas. That was a really nice way to spend the holiday. So I will make sure to include a photo of all 12, but this is going to take a long time and probably be a bit boring if I show you each and every one and say, hey, here's, you know, number eight. It is, it was fun, get a bit repetitive. So I picked my favorite three which actually includes number eight, to show up uh, favorite three of the ones you haven't seen yet to show you and tell you a little bit about how it went. So again, this pattern is by Triple M Crafts and I will leave a link in the description box below. Could not recommend enough, really beautifully made pattern. So this is number seven of our Swan of Swimming and I had so much fun. I both love the colors because it's nice and bright and it really pops against the black and I just liked the way the water effect came out. So that's number seven for Swana Swimming and I had so much fun. Then conveniently number eight was my next favorite and I went off book on this one. So the original colors or the original recommended colors, you can always change your mind, were like a really a pale blue and pale yellow and very pastel and very kind of blah. So I went off book and said, I'm going for the nice bright colors. I love her little bonnet, it's so cute. I would, I would totally wear that hat. So I went for nice bright colors and I really love it. Right now I just have super cheap hooks that I had, but I think next year I'm going to invest and get some nice hooks for them. They, they deserve better than the half a penny hook. But anyway, so that's number eight for our maid of milking. And she's really fun. And I decided to leave all their faces blank. The pattern actually has recommendations for facial features and walks you through it very clearly i have to say it is a again a beautifully written pattern i was not confident in my own abilities to draw tiny little faces on small wooden spheres and not make them look like serial killers so i just opted for the waldorf version which is we will use our imaginations and then number 10 was the fiddliest of them all to put together and that is for our piper piping but just look at that. He's got a feather in his cap and a little belt on his coat. Like, look at those details. I love it. So that's number 10. And getting his arms in place, holding the horn and the right angle and having everything, you kind of glue baste it and then you pin and stitch it. That was fiddly as all get out but I couldn't be more pleased with how it came out. And I absolutely love them all together. It is a stunning, colorful little collection, and I know I will treasure them for many years to come. And it'll be a nice, nice reminder that even in 
you know, more, more challenging times, you can still make something beautiful and bring yourself joy. So those are, I guess that's the end of my 12 days of Christmas ornament set. Made it into two whole videos. <laughs> I love them. They're beautiful. I am very happy I convinced myself to go ahead and just do it. So now that that's done, I've, I've been kind of jumping from big project to big project to big project this year, or at least, you know, deadline project of I was earlier in this year of spring, I was, you know, sewing as many masks to donate as I possibly could. And then I jumped back into my Rhinebeck sweater, which of course had a deadline. And then the Rhinebeck sweater was done and I started knitting hats galore. And then I needed to make my ornaments. I say need, these are all choices that I'm very happy in. But <laughs> I jumped right into making my ornaments. So now I'm like, what am I supposed to work on? So I dug around. It's like, what do I want to work on? What do I want to work on? Everything, of course. But I have this blanket that I had started last year, last winter, this spring. I think this spring. I don't exactly remember, but like early this spring, maybe last year. Do not know. But it is the Marguerite Blanket by Sandra Eng. And I had worked on it a fair bit, but I was thinking to myself, in my brain at least, I still had a ton to do. Like, I was nowhere near done. But I pulled it out and I actually did the little, you know, doodle of how many, how many mm, motifs across and how many motifs up do I want for the size of the blanket. And I did the math and it turned out I needed 39 of these motifs plus uh, about 20 half motifs to even out the edges. But I needed 39 of these. I already had 30. I've made three more in the last few days. So I am fully back on board and having ugh, so much fun making motifs. So I, I think my goal is to finish this blanket in January. So January, February, I'll get myself a little cushion, but I would really like to do it. It is a beautiful pattern and it's so much fun to do. I hadn't ever really done this two color crochet method before. I have of course done color work in knitting, but I don't crochet quite as much. And when I do, it's typically fairly simple. So this is a ton of fun to work on little half one. Having a lot of fun working on it. I have everything I need to finish it. So keep an eye out. January, February. I want to finish this blanket. Granted, I should say I'll finish all the motifs in January and probably give myself the entire month of February to put it together. Because <laughs> it's not going to be quick. Um, and then, you know, border and all of that. But I'm making headway again. I'm happy with it. It's a fun project to work on. I'm having fun. So that's what's coming next. And soon, I don't have all the stuff together yet, but soon I have a new embroidery project to tell you about that will be um, ongoing and slightly spontaneous and a lot of fun. So something to look forward to. Anyway, it's been nice chatting with you. See you soon. Bye.